Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 153. Welcome to the main event. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. Your investor personality. It really does help to figure out what type of an investor you are. You might think you know, you might think that you're one way or another, but you'd be surprised. So it's very important to figure it out. Why do you even need to know your investor personality? Well, basically because you should be investing. We've all come out of COVID-19 or in various stages globally of, of ending the lockdown and ending quarantine. And it's very important that we concentrate and focus and think about securing our financial future for the better. I'm not pessimistic at all. I'm actually very optimistic, but you never know what's going to happen. There's bull and bear economies. I don't think there's gonna be a second wave um, of the pandemic. I don't think our country and globally we're gonna go into lockdown again, which you never know. But besides all that, there's always going to be recessions. As I said, there's always gonna be bull and bear economies. So it makes sense to concentrate now on your investments. You might be already investing. You may, you be, may be brand new to investing and think that it's for people who have more money or it's for other type of people or different classes of people. I don't know. There's, there's many self-limiting um, mental uh, mindsets and, and beliefs regarding um, being an investor, especially in this country. I don't know what country you're listening to this from, but it, it could it could vary depending on, on your the type of friends that you hang out with and the country that you're from as well. So investing is very important if you want to be wealthy in the future because it's highly, highly unlikely you're going to be number one, able to earn your way to wealth. It's it's there's very, very few people that are making that much money that 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 alone will make them wealthy. Very few. I can't really think of any. Um, then not only do you have to earn your way to wealth, then if you're trying to save your way to wealth, it's again, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to be wealthy. Um, and we're talking about your wealth for yourself, in your for your family, and hopefully for a couple of generations after you, that would be nice as well. So for that type of wealth, you need to be investing. You need to be an investor. You need the leverage. You need other things that are going to be producing you money and producing you income. Um, well, that can be further invested or, or you, can, you can use it towards living expenses. But besides and independent of your job, I mean, we all saw during during the lockdown how um, financially vulnerable everybody felt. Um, I'm sure everybody wished that they'd had more investments or any, depending on whether you are an investor or not. So leverage leverage is what will help you um, invest and and accumulate more wealth for the future. So as I just said, you can't earn or save your way to wealth, but earning and saving are a big, um, play a big part in investing because obviously you need to earn as much as you can to invest. Then you need to save as much of that as you possibly can to invest. So they're a part of it, but in and of itself, that's not, that's not your path to wealth. Investing is going to be. Focus on investments that you are comfortable with. So focus on stuff you have an interest in. If you don't have an interest in the stock market, then don't worry about the stock market. It's not for you. There are so many different investing vehicles. There are so many different different levels of investing. I, I'm sure a lot of people listening to this and they think investor and they think investment, and you're probably thinking hundreds of millions or tens of millions. You can invest 10 dollars, 10 euro, 10 pounds. You can start at 100. An investment can be at any level 
and there are so many different investment opportunities so it's up to you to figure out what type of investor you are so what is the the area that you would be interested in because it's going to be very important that you make it a hobby you should be an active inv investor in order this type of being a, a passive investor again you're limiting your leverage opportunities you're 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 limiting your growth with your investments if it's just a little again it means that you're hedging your your you're, that you're concentrating basically on earning and saving and just having a little passive investment on the side you want to be more actively investing to really make to really give yourself the best shot and to give yourself every opportunity to maximize your future wealth and your future financial security absolutely talk to a financial advisor don't be intimidated they're normal people like you me everybody else and again there's lots of different types of financial advisors at all different types of levels and offering all different types of investment products take an online personality test there's lots of investor personality tests online absolutely have a go with those besides being a little bit of fun bit of crack you might think that you know what your appetite is towards risk but you could be surprised you might think you're one type of an investor but when you actually do your research you should be surprised but the biggest lesson I'm trying to get across to you with, with this uh, episode is involve yourself do find do make a hobby out of your your investments do find a subject that you're actually interested that you want to read about that you want to check that you want to study that you want to learn more about that you want to become more active it just makes the whole process easier if it's something that you're just cold about and you don't really care it's it's hard to really maximize it will you actually want to put more of your savings uh into it will you want to be trying to make m more money earn more money so that you can shovel more into your investments i doubt it if it's not something that you actually are very motivated about something that you really like something that's interests you something that you manage to turn into a passion it's going to be very hard to, to maximize it so if you need any advice or information i'm always here feel free to hit me up at any of the links that are listed check out the success sensei.com is probably the easiest way to contact me thank you for listening i'm roundhouse rob the success sensei life is a fight you can enjoy and win bowing out this has been the success sensei fighting the winning fight so add us subscribe like and comment keep those hands up and keep moving forward